Well, hello everyone, this is Dennis Rodriguez with another video. I'm coming to you thanks to uscoypunch.com and we're here at a very good friend's house. Um, Ike Ummer was kind enough to lend me his house here in the Galleria area in Houston to show you what we're going to talk about today, which is RDF or rotary drum filters and why we chose a rotary drum filter for this amazing pond. You can see the load of fish. We're going to talk about that and why RDFs make sense in this specific uh, pond. So come with me. I'm going to show you the filtration system. We're going to talk about RDFs and everything you need to know about them. Follow me. Okay, so we're here in the filter side of the pond. Um, this is where we house uh, filtration, not only for this pond that I just showed you with the big koi, but we have other ponds in the property. And this is why you see so, so much stuff. But I want to focus right now on this unit right here. This is the RDF, and again, it's a rotary drum filter. And I want you to see how it works. I want to explain why they're so amazing uh, filters. Okay, so we're here in the inlet side of the filter, and I just want to explain how this works. Um, basically, we got a four inch pipe that's coming from the bottom drains in the pond. It's controlled by this gate valve here. You always want to have a gate valve before the filter because when you need to service the filter, all you do is shut this down and you can disconnect it, no problem. Also to purge the pipe, and that's something that we can talk about in another video, what purging the pipe means. The other four inch pipe is coming from the skimmer. So this filter, as small as it is, handles five, almost 5,000 gallons but it's rated for up to 8,000 gallons. So right now, it's working fine at 5,000 gallons. It's being fed by these two four inch pipes. Again, one from the bottom drains, and that's the cleaning cycle right there. Let's, let's wait a little bit for the noise. Okay, sorry about that. We got the cleaning cycle uh, activated and makes a lot of noise. So again, we got a four inch pipe coming in from the bottom drains, another four inch pipe coming from the skimmer, and it all fits into the rotary dump filter and I'm going to show you right now how that works. So basically, the four inch pipes come in, they connect here, I'm going to take this cover off so you can see, and the pipes fit the dirty side of the filter. This that you see here in black, it's the chute for the, all the debris, you can see the fish poop there, this goes down the drain, either to your sewage system, or you can uh, have it go to uh, like a sump tank, and then water your plants with that water, the dirty water. But basically this is called the dirty side of the RDF. The drum is right there, I'm gonna show it to you right now. So, first one thing I wanna mention, we're keeping a non-transparent or clear lid on this one because it's, it's in the open and it gets algae. Algae starts growing inside, but if you are in a place where you keep it indoor, you can use and acrylic cover, and I'm going to put it real quick here. It's very easy to switch. In case it starts cleaning, we don't want to get wet. But now you can see the drum, and the way it works is that water from the dirty side goes inside the drum, and then it goes through the mesh, the, side, the stainless steel mesh, and all the debris stays inside. Now. This particular unit is being uh, gravity fed, which means that water is at a certain level. As soon as the water starts dropping, there's a sensor that activates the cleaning cycle. And I'm gonna show that to you right now. We can force a cleaning cycle by pressing this button here in the controller. And see this button here? I'm gonna press it right now so you can see how the jets start cleaning the drum. So let's point here and watch what happens that's normally how it cleans and you can see the dirty water going out to the drain the beauty of this is that you have never ever have to touch a filter again I mean it's self-cleaning I'm gonna show you right now what happens inside and hopefully we won't get wet See the mesh? 
This filter in particular is a 70 micron mesh and all the debris stays inside on the dirty side. You see my hand here? The debris stays on the dirty side of the mesh. Then when it's time to clean, there's a separate pump that comes with the filter. It's a high pressure pump that activates those one, two, three, four, five jets and the jets clean this and all the dirty water goes to drain. So again, very compact unit, very simple to install. It comes with the UV light integrated, so algae doesn't grow on the uh, screen. But if you keep the clear lid out here where we at, it will grow algae in the on the cover, and so we want to keep it from doing that. So I'm gonna try to turn it on now without the lid. Um, hopefully we won't get too wet. There we go. And you see how those jets clean the screen. After water is clean, it passes and goes to the outlet side, through the pumps, back to the pond. Okay, so after the cleaning cycle is done, uh, water returns to the pond via the pumps. So the pumps, in this case, that's gravity fed. Pumps are, you know, sucking water from the filter, if you want to say that way. This filter is capable of also being used as a pump fed. So if you don't have a bottom drain, you have a pump with a submersible pump, you can feed the output of the pump to the inlet side of the filter and it will still work. There's some tweaking that we'll need to do with the uh, water level sensor, but this small unit is capable for both gravity fed or pump fed. Um, like I mentioned, this one is up to 8,000 gallons an hour. There are larger versions, and they are becoming very popular because their prices are coming down. Uh, just so you have an idea, uh, the technology used on RDF comes back from many, many years. They started being used at water filtration plants. So basically the plants that filter the water that you drink, if you are on a public water system, that's when they were developed, they were huge units used uh, to clean uh, water at water facilities, water treatment facilities. So as technology advances, you know, their prices have come down and they have made their way into the pond uh, industry, you know, our hobby. And just so you have an idea, we can install a unit like this, a small unit like this that treats up to five, uh, sorry, 8,000 gallons an hour for less than $3,000. Uh, where before just the cost of the unit was in the four to five thousand dollars they're coming down in price so if you need more any more information feel free to contact us i'm going to put my information down in the comments area but um this fil filters work very well absolutely no maintenance you just you know you can sit down and watch it work basically the cleaning cycle some people ask how how often does it clean it completely depends on your uh, fish load and the amount of food that you're feeding those fish every day. In this particular case, I can tell you that my friend with all those fish, he's almost feeding two to three pounds of food every day. It's a 5,000 gallon pond. He has huge fish that you just saw. And this unit kicks in right around 15 to 18 minutes. So every 15 to 18 minutes it kicks in. The water that it spends cleaning is about, it's, it's slightly less than a liter of water. So, you know, every four cycles you can more or less uh, assume it's a gallon of water. So it's not much water and it's constantly being replaced, which is the other good advantage of the RDS. Instead of doing one huge water change every week, or every two weeks, however often you do, you do your water changes, this is constantly cleaning. So that water is leaving the pond, new water comes in because there's an auto level valve that we installed in one of the skimmers. So the water level will stay constant even though this is cleaning and water is leaving the pond. So you're technically doing a water change every 15 minutes. It's just a tiny amount instead of a huge water change once a week. So again, this is uh, what our RDF looks like. 
they're gonna become more and more popular you're gonna start seeing them everywhere because they work so great and the prices have come down to where pretty much anyone that can afford a pond can afford to have one of these systems installed they take really small real estate or space as you can see versus having you know a big filter with a pump with uh, some biological filtration this only takes a very small amount of space and in this case we're pumping to a uh, backy showers these are all DIY uh, backy showers we're gonna talk about those in a separate video how you can do your own backy showers but right now I just want to explain what an RDF is how they work we talk about pricing we talk about how it's connected how it works if you got any other questions feel free to get a hold of us uscoypumps.com or write your comment below and we'll see you on the next video remember to share like subscribe to our channel we're going to be putting lots of videos and thank you for all your comments thank you for being there and we'll see you in the next one